Uh, here we go. Yeah, there's no remake down here. It should say remaster. It begins. Welcome to New Threat 1.5. Select the difficulty. Normal. I, or arrange. Maybe... Maybe there will be a situation in the future where we can try out a range, but, uh... Hmm. Careful when alt-tabbing. Okay, I'll be, I'll be careful. I'll make sure to not do that too much. Type de la normal. I've never done this before. Let's give it a shot. It's recommended to play Wait ATB. I was already going to do that anyway. Should be interesting. So, as described earlier, uh, this intro, the cutscenes, everything has been remastered by fans. Every single frame of this cutscene got put through an AI learning sort of like program that filled in the pixelated stuff and polished it out. So when you see the cutscenes now, they are better than they ever have looked. Probably better than any, absolutely better than any official release. Uh, the fans went in hard on this stuff. Really damn hard. It's interpolation... but that's... only so much. We do not have an updated soundtrack. I'm staying with the OG soundtrack simply for the fact that I think the upgraded, upgraded songs are good. The fan-made songs, but... I think the original music stands, and I want to keep the original music. It has a big part of what I remember. And what I like. Alright. Four years, let's go. Let's hope I don't die a lot. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. Is this thing gonna fuck me up? Am I gonna get fucked up? <laughs> Is this new threat mod gonna fuck me up? Where that Max guy's playing? Let's get him. Let's get him. Look at that background. Oh my god. So these are the Nino style, Nino style character models over Jesse and Biggs. Wedge didn't sadly get one. One thing that has changed, uh, the background menus are now transparent. Makes it a little bit easier to see stuff. Oh shit, okay. Uh, this is all new to me. EX Soldier Innate Ability. During battle, the EX Soldier will gain a boost to strength and magic whenever a limit break is used by the party. So you're telling me that Cloud gets strength boosts? This is completely new to me? Uh, alright. So. Uh, the Cloud model is here, and animating ever so slightly, you might notice that he does have a breathing animation. The running animation has been adjusted. I think I can actually walk still if I hold down a button. But, it's here to resemble the artwork of the original game. And I think it looks extremely good. So, let's hope this isn't completely different than the game I remember. This guy should have a potion. Aha! And this guy should have a potion before I get ambushed. Get ready to see what it looks like in battle. Soldiers have been redone. And you might notice the animations of the game... Oh, I'm getting... I'm, this does a lot of damage. The animations of the characters run at 15 FPS just like they did on PlayStation. Uh, I need to change the battle system to be fast. Wow! But my god, dude, when you see it in motion, it looks great. One big thing... A big, weird thing about Final Fantasy VII is the fact that the PC version had a frame limiter on it. You could only play the PC version at, like, a shitty, like, 15 to 20 FPS. It was rough. So the menus ran at, like, 15. Even though the console version, the PlayStation version, the menus ran at 60. That's why doing the friggin' uh, the, the Colosseum battles was always a pain in the ass on the PC version. Because the PC version was running at freaking 15 FPS. It was it was a pain in the neck, dude. An absolute pain in the neck. So, all I'll say is 
This mod actually makes the menus run at 60. It makes the mod, it makes the game run similar to the console version. It was super whack. It was super whack. Um, so yeah, that's what we're running. Yeah, the PC port was rough. Fans, fans have worked their ass off to make the PC port good. Funny note, chat. Uh, you might notice that when you run through this door, it looks like stairs go into there. What I saw in Final Fantasy VII Remake, there's an entire subway area down here where a huge uh, moment of Cloud learning the tutorial of the game happens in FF7 Remake that wasn't shown to the public. And there's a big character moment where all the characters ditch Cloud and say, see you later, and Cloud has to deal with all the guards down there. There's a lot of expansion to this stuff because this is what I played in... Well, this is what I saw of the remake. Yep, so I was in Soldier. I was a, I was a crazy superhuman. Don't touch me. I don't want to talk to you. I'm a mercenary. So we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it traditional. Oh, I didn't get the second potion. I'll go grab it. Uh, we're gonna keep it traditional. No character name changes. Totally in Soldier. Absolutely. I don't care what your name is. Shut up. The, great, the best part about the remake is you really feel the tension between Cloud and the Avalanche crew, because Cloud feels like the odd man out here. They, he's been hired and he's still wearing the costume of the people that they're about to literally assault. Uh, there's some some very good dialogue that happens between these characters to sort of establish that. Curado. Berto. You want regular battle music or the field battle music? What? Regular? Go field, it's great. Is that different? All right, let's go. Huh. Hold on a second. Don't do field, I did it. I've never done it! I don't know! I don't know! You can change it at any save point. Okay, cool. I gotta go back! We have to go back! What are you talking about, Niz This Canon? I'm talking about the, the Final Fantasy VII remake that I saw. That very few people saw. And I can give you the impressions of how different it is compared to this. So, this area right here is hell of expanded. Like, what happens in this specific spot, like, there's a grate and a, a gate that you go through and they have to cut through the gate and they're saying like, hurry, 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 because the guards are showing up and Cloud takes care of the guards. Then you fight a dog, which is what I'm going to do right here. The dog heals itself. Okay. Wow, that feels good. Shit feels good. Rebeto Age. So yeah, a lot of this, a lot of this part is very expanded in the new one. You don't just run through it like this. But look at this! Just, you can make out the details of what the hell all this shit is now? This is like a weird propane tank and you can read the text on, on the... Just moments of appreciation, how much better this is, this is. Uh, I can't even access materia yet, yeah. That is not... And I'm making sure I don't have things, or do have things. So propane and propane accessories? We have to talk to characters, we have to see what everyone has to say. I'll secure the escape passage! You concentrate on the mission, Crowdo! That's what Wedge sounds like in the new one, I guarantee it. Yes, he's very heroic. We're really gonna blow up that huge furnace, this will be something to see. SHIT! Uh, the great part about this shot is there is an angle that they use that is very close to the ground. I'm about to die again. I'm about to die for the first time. Oh, crap. Okay, hold on a sec, chat. I need to concentrate. That guy's dead as fuck. 
Uh, the battles that take place on this area are super interesting. Like, when the remake happens and you're going through this area and doing this stuff, you get this crazy shot of the platform from this angle as you're running down it because you don't get the top-down view. But you can angle the camera and sort of look at the top-down view. When you do that, you get the scale of the reactor. You can actually look up at the reactor as it's like hundreds of feet in the air. Like, it, you, you feel so tiny compared to this fucking reactor that you're about to blow up. Um, and that's the thing that they do a really good job in the behind-the-scenes demo of the remake. It is really goddamn cool. They do a pretty good job here, but... yeah. So, here we go. I, I mean, I'm trying to make you jealous, Chad. I'm trying to tell you what the hell's going on. Stop healing? Just die? What the hell are you talking about, Chad? I need the worker for the Shinra. Place produces Mako energy. It's what keeps Midgar powered. Story! Mako's lifeblood of the planet, and Shinra's sucking it out! Uh, right up the ass! With the reactors! I'm here for a lecture. Let's go! She it all right! Security's tight. We're gonna do this together. I will absorb you. When Barrett takes physical damage, he gains a stack, depending on whether he is in front row or the back row. Stack. Barrett is stacked? Barrett innate ability. Front row stacks raise his strength, while back row stacks increase his physical defense. Oh, shit, so they give you a reason for sticking Barrett in the front or back now, other than him just always being in the back. Uh, okay. okay. Only five stacks of either type can be held. Gaining a stack of one type will reset any held stacks in the opposite type. Wait, how did I- how do you get a stack again? So if I- Yeah, he stays in the back row. Interesting. Interesting, okay. Hmm. Yeah, so Barrett can act as a tank, really, if he's in back row. Hmm. Curious. Get hit! Yeah, that's what it was. He had to- he had to be attacked. Okay, I thought it was attacking. Uh, very curious. Well, I'd rather him be the tank. I think that'd be- I think that's actually cool. Wasn't easy getting these codes, took a lot of risks to get them. Look at- you could see all the weird shit that's going on in the reactor now. Like, everything has- everything has detail and sharpness to it. Phoenix down? Okay, that hasn't changed. Uh, and the elevator conversation between Barrett and Cloud is great in the new one. I think Barrett has a line specifically where he says, uh, the, pl the planet lives and breathes like we do. You breathe, you bleed, you shit. The planet is dying, and I hear it, and Cloud's like, wait, you actually hear that? And Barrett says, of course I do, and Cloud says, you should get some help. Or he says, you should get help. So Barrett and Cloud are, like, punching mics with controllers. Little by little, the reactor will drain all the Mako out of the planet. That'll be that. Uh, it is not my problem. The planet is dying, Bert! Wait a minute, let me see if I have anything to accompany this moment. Um, I might. Hold on a sec, chat. We have only so much opportunity to compliment this moment. Let me see if I have, uh... Here we go. Hold on. One second. It's not my problem. Whatever. I just live here. Whatever. The planet's dying, Boot! Thank you, Kenny. Thank you, Kenny. Uh, okay. The only thing I care about is finishing this job and getting paid for it. I like money, says Cloud. Barrett doesn't like that. Barrett, Barrett's out here with a purpose and a cause. 
Uh, because Shinra has right fucked him over pretty hard. Oh, let's see if we can boost this a little bit. Okay, I'm trying to get some of the visuals chat through him. The world is dying, Bert! So, right after you jump out of the, uh, the elevator, this sequence right here takes place in a different spot. I'm gonna go over the remake. This moment where you actually fight enemies on these big circular things, this is where the remake teaches you that Barrett can attack enemies from a distance. So Cloud runs over and he can't do anything about it. Barrett pretends to shoot Cloud. Like, it, it seems like Barrett's gonna shoot Cloud in the back and you hear a bang and Cloud looks around and then pays attention that he didn't shoot at him. He actually shot at the laser thing, like the weird little laser enemies that are around this area. Spoilers! I mean, I should have said spoilers before. I already described it. But this actually takes place before the elevator. And when you get to the elevator, it puts you pretty much down this thing right here. So they, they changed, uh, they have changed a bit of stuff. Oh, I think that, I think the field shit is cool. I like it. Yeah, it's a movie fake out shot, but it's done well. They actually are trying to put personality in with the characters, and I appreciate that. So these these laser guys are at the beginning, and they are uh, pretty much Barrett material. Barrett defense stack. I kind of like the field music being used here. I think that's sort of sick. Holy crap, these enemies do damage. These guys, when you first fire up FF7, do about 7 to 10 points of health. And now they're doing 28, which is as much as what the boss was doing. Or 48?! Fuck, man. I'm getting beat up. I'm getting beat up. A lot of the better the backstory, background textures will clip. Uh, the game is still... The Polygons and Tries from 1997. Yeah, new threat mod is working like a charm. Doing the job. You can actually run around this entire area down here. I'm scared to because we're in a precarious situation where health and life are going to be very important on this playthrough. But um, you can run all the way through all this shit. I did that in the demo when FF7 was first, uh, before FF7 was released. Uh, so there's a bunch of cool shit you can do. Press OK in front of ladder to jump onto it. Then use directional button to climb up or down. So instead of Jesse just being like tutorial character, she's actually got a shit ton of character. The game sort of teaches you teaches you the tutorial through the fights and what you need to do. Uh, so that's a nice that's a nice change. Like you literally can't say anything to Jesse. Like you can't can't say anything to her, uh, which is unfortunate because she has so much more character in the new one. I did get the D-pad working. I'm, I'm using uh, Joy 2 key to get the D-pad working because I hate using the damn analog stick to run around. Ugh. Ugh. All right, so let's save you. Uh, I have no idea what to expect on this first boss, but I'm going to heal the fuck up. Potion seal 100, high potion seal 500. Okay, that's good to know. Whoa! Um... Okay, interesting. I changed the music back. I'm pretty sure I changed it back though, right? Field is sick. I think field is sick, but I... Oh, you can toggle random battles from here. Oh, interesting. I'm not gonna turn that off. Um... But... Does that mean... Keep the field music? Field music kept chat? Hmm. Keep the field. Yes, uh, the, the cloud emote is definitely appropriate in the, in the current situation. Uh, I'm wondering if it'll change the boss fight. I'll do normal music. I'll do normal music. 
How do we get the hell out of here? Uh... Damn it! Press one button. Uh, page down. Normal. Confirm to continue. There we go. <laughs> boss fight still boss. Shit, there is a sweeper. Big shot that sweeper. Damn, Barrett looks good. And it's still alive. Holy shit. It, so, what you're noticing is that the game and the camera are running at 60 FPS, but the characters are animating at 15, like they did back in the duh. Hmm. Yeah, it's still the field music, I'm curious. Kind of looks a little Borderlands-ish, yeah. It looks like it's running in almost stop motion. I don't hate it. I think it looks neat. All right, here we go. Son of a bitch! I need the health! You asshole! Uh... Okay. Okay. I wonder what, uh... Cloud Limit Boost. So it's animating like it's an anime, sort of. Yeah. But you can see the character animations when they die is actually running at about 60 FPS. Yeah, Cloud has a Fire Materia. Uh, hopefully there's gonna be a Restore Materia before we get to the boss. We're gonna find out. I don't know. I don't know. STR and magic temporarily increase in each limit. Yeah, that's what they were describing uh, a second ago. Okay. Yeah, that's true. The bombing mission has no battle music, technically. It's like the original. Restore. Uh, and that's right, I can't even... I can't even put it on. Son of bitch. Uh, how do I switch characters from here? Is there a way? Button? button? Guess not. I'll have to see if I can change that, because my triggers don't work on the Xbox controller. Which is the Z button. An explosion here will turn this place into nothing more than a hunk of junk! What I like a lot about the remake is when you're in this situation, the, the scale... the scale of the reactor is much more relevant at all times. You set to the bomb. Would you not do it? Just do it, I'm not turning my back to some damn ex-Shinra. So yeah, when, when, when Cloud gets his weird visions now, different things happen. And I've mentioned this before, but when he's about to set the bomb, uh, everything flashes white and a black feather falls on the ground and dissipates. And Cloud's like, what the hell is going on? And when he snaps out of it, the alarms are going off. So it's much more cinematic. The hell are you waiting for? Do the thing! I am sorry. Heads up, something's coming. You have to enable multiple accesses to get the triggers to work on J2 key. Thank you, Streetwise. I will do that probably for the next playthrough or the next time. I'm gonna stop spoiling, because this is this is all I've seen. This and the boss fight is all I've seen. There's no more I've seen of the remake beyond this. Okay, so Guard Scorpion looks very pretty. What is magnetic scope? That's the search scope. Okay. Do I have any grenades on me? Okay, so that still works. That's good. I'm almost out of MP. That's fantastic. I wonder if I just don't attack it. Is it gonna poison me? Oh, motherfucker! Alright. Alright. That's pause. Okay, sorry. Magnetic scope. Okay, so Barrett's gonna get jacked up. 
I should probably use an Aether on Crowd, though. So you notice how when the Scorpion moves, it's running at 60, but when he animates, it's, uh, running the proper 15 FPS. Alright, Barrett, can you take a couple of hits for me? Oh, you are poisoned? I should do something about that. Fuck! I'm attacking! Barrett, be careful! If you attack while its tail is up, dash, it will counterattack with its laser. Barrett, you idiot! Fuck! Oh, Jesus! He's alive, right? Motherfucker's dead! <laughs> I can't believe Barrett is dead! Uh... I can't believe Barrett is dead! <laughs> oh, shit! Uh, okay. I'll do this myself! Fuck. <laughs> I can't believe he's not getting the experience either. That is not good. Um... Restart? Well, this run is dead. He got knocked out? W reference lets double rifle? Yeah, W. Give me my limit so I can fuck some shit up. <laughs> mm. Hmm. I haven't seen any big attacks. All right. Can't can't let. Holy shit! Oh thank God! Oh thank God! Oh thank God! Okay, so regular potions heal a shit ton. Like, a proper shit ton. Can't believe Barrett is dead. Can't believe it. Dude, yeah, just have him blast me away. I'll just- I'll just attack him and see what happens. Yep, yeah, Barrett got annihilated. Annihilated? I do see the timer. I have six minutes, and it is- it is counting- it counted down from the start of the fight. I am fully aware. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Ow. That's a foot. Will you fucking die?! Sorry. No, there's no Phoenix down. He didn't get killed. He got knocked out. He got, like, straight ruby weapon. I'm gonna kick you out of the fight. Oh, wow, that... Shit. Shit, please live. Please don't crit. We, not, might, we might not make it out of this alive. We, not might, we might not be able to escape alive. We're gonna have first death? Let me see if... Okay, so I'm making sure there's not... I can't, like, attack the tail or something like that, or if there's another target out there, but there isn't. Wait for it, chat. Come on, dickhead, I am running out of time when you put your stupid asshole back on the ground! What the fuck?! There we go. Oh my god. Okay. I got five minutes to escape here, with random battles on. Five minutes! Five minutes to get the hell out of here. Mithril armlet. One minute to go. Yes, we definitely need to leave. I definitely need to leave. I got five minutes. It takes like only a couple to get out of here. I'll even <gasps> the save point's gone. That's fucked up. Why is the save point gone? <laughs> That's fucked up. Can I save here? You shithead. You shithead game. 
You shitty mod. You alright? My leg is stuck. Hop over me. Look out! What? Look out! <laughs> oh shit! Uh, no, this is not... This is different. What?! The fuck is going on?! Oh my god! It ain't dead?! <laughs> what?! Oh, targeting... Shit, what the fuck is going on?! Oh. What?! She's helping- This is awesome! Alright, this shit is fucking cool! I might- I might not make it out alive, but this shit is cool. We're fighting the- the zombie body. Tails damaged. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't even think this happens in the remake chat room, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. That's gonna hurt. Please don't kill Barrett. Again. Hey, He's alive. This thing is gonna suicide or some shit. I'm keeping Barrett. Never mind. It's dead. Never mind. Never mind. It's dead. We're okay. Uh, Jesse's obviously, uh, not quite as textured as the other characters. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Fuck! Three minutes! I don't even know if I have escape buttons. I don't even know if I can escape. Okay, uh, we're gonna need to blast some ass. Okay. Save anywhere is great. I should probably do that. Should probably put on the save anywhere for the sake of the stream. And Claude's already doing damage. I don't think I have grenades. I do! I can't change turns to Barret? There we go. I want to save that limit. Two minutes! Two minutes! Uh, Jesse, are you... Jesse, are you... Are you Jesse? <laughs> May not be, uh, fully compatible. My goner! I don't wanna die! I don't wanna die! Come on, man! No encounters? Oh shit, there's two... I almost thought we were gonna be at the... I almost thought we were gonna be at the bridge, but we're not even at the bridge. Biggs, you better open this fucking door. No, oh, it's Jesse, that's right! Biggs, you got get the codes ready, asshole! Fuck! I need to kill this shit fast. Did I just crack a thousand damage in the first area? I think I did. Holy shit, dude. Just cracked a thousand damage in the first- Jesus Christ. Okay. Did I have sneak attack on or some shit? Let's go! Oh, thank God. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's fine. It was, I know it was a back hit, but still. So there's a good chance that this explosion might end in a escape bike sequence in the remake. Which would be fucking super cool. Uh, that should keep the planet going at least a little longer. Yes! Everyone get back. God, man, you can actually see the part of the reactor like that is that is the side of the reactor up there that has fallen Holy shit, you can see the other chunk of the reactor in the, the back that has crashed down Get out of here Rendezvous rendezvous at sector 8 station split up and get on the train Where's my money? Um, right? You don't actually get to see this very well in the original, but... Uh, you can kind of see the, the extent of the damage that they did with this... ...big-ass explosion. 
which will probably be a lot better in the remake. So the cool thing that the devs did say about Remake is that there's going to be a lot of options. They said there's going to be a lot of moments where you have um, dialogue options, similar to this one. Uh, but they were saying it's going to impact the game in different ways. I'm like, cool. So you can still take the flower. I'm going to, I'm going to be Cloud in character. So I'm not going to be Dickhead Cloud in this one. We already did that. I don't know what's going on, but alright if you say so. Jesus, I'm stuck on nothing. Okay. I love, I hope they put this shit in there, this like 80s Star Wars shit of like mechanical stuff having super animated like electricity. I love, I love. I'm a big fan of Aliens chat room, okay? If you if you didn't know, I really like the movie Aliens. Um, I'm a big fan of weird electricity, like, flowing through stuff, visually, like that. I really hope that's in the remake. Uh, we should probably talk to these people. Uh, what's written on the wall? Don't be fooled by Shinra. Mako energy doesn't last forever. Mako is the planet's life source. The end is in sight. Hey, I just realized, the remake will let us know whether or not it's pronounced Mako or Mako. And you get to make fun of the people that pronounce it the wrong way later. Directors of the planet, Avalanche. We'll also see if people pronounce Avalanche correctly too. What in the hell's going on? I think I missed my opportunity to talk to the other person. Damn it. Either Mako, M-A-Y-K-O, or Mako, M-A-H-K-O? Oh. Oh. Uh, should I heal? No, I'm clear. It probably is Mako because it's Japanese, right? Hey, dickhead. I'll fight you. You can see people rummaging around in the in the damn windows now? Holy shit. Bum, 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 bing, 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 bing. Poor bastard. Still no save point. Yeah, there is still... Bad move? What? Bad move. Uh, it actually ran out of time. I have to fight them. Three people? Okay, three dickheads. The thing I love about all the Shinra soldiers in the remake is that they all do the same shit. They throw grenades, they beat you with their clubs, and they either shoot at you. They don't do anything different. They do the exact same shit. Okay. I need these grenades. Uh, let's fight them. We're gonna need the experience. Maybe in the end we'll fight a giant one, like an eight-foot-tall Shinra soldier. Maybe that's a secret. I don't know, this is new to me. Better alive, you're coming with me. I want a spice of life. Get spicy. <laughs> Poorly translated Shinra Trooper. Uh, Zarkos, this is- we have several mods installed, practically making it a fan-made remaster. So, tomorrow I'm gonna make a big highlight of what I described that I installed. And we will, uh, have an exclamation point mods in the future, so that people can see what I did. That's as far as you go. I have no time. You should, you should have been, you should have had that line when he's in, uh... <laughs> Cloud's got a great line when he's in Don Corneo's mansion, but you don't see it because usually you get all the, uh, the tiara and all the pretty shit for Cloud to, to make Corneo choose you. But he's got a great thing, if he doesn't get chosen, he has to fight all these guys downstairs, and then he rips off his dress and says, I ain't got time for a bunch of scrubs like you, and then he proceeds to kill everybody. 
That is not in the remake. That is actually in the original. You just miss it sometimes. Cuidado. Think Claude is gonna stay and fight with us for Avalanche forever? How in the hell would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? Shit! Wouldn't need him anyway. You're all such a bunch of fuck ups! Jesus, Barrett. Hey, Barreto, what about our money this? Oh shit, no, that was like a bad time. That was a bad time, Wedge. This must be the car. The hell was that? Oh, wait a minute. Was that line there before? Was that a new line? Huh. Was that a new line? I don't remember that in the original for some reason. It's been it's been four years, Chavern. I'm a little late. You're damn right you're late. You're coming waltzing in here making a big scene. It's a new line. Yeah. It is no big deal. It is what I always do. Shit. Uh, I, I am happy to report that Barrett Barrett has a plentiful assortment of shits and goddams in the remake. I've been everyone worried like that. You don't give a goddamn about yourself. Are you worried about me? Wah! It's coming out of your money, hot shot! Wake up! We're moving out! Follow me! Good animation. You were great back there. Even better animation. Hey, hey. We'll do even better next time. We'll blow it up even bigger! Careful, I will shut this. So... There was, I'm gonna say right now, uh, there was always a... a feeling when you were first played FF7, back in the du, that the female characters, like, Cloud has this, like, interest with them, with, like, Aerith, of course, and then Tifa, and even Jesse. So, I remember with friends, back in, like, 1997 when this game came out, you're always wondering, like, oh, you can get Jesse to be your girlfriend if you, like, answer certain things correctly or shit like that. Um, and I always thought that was cute because Jesse doesn't get much dialogue in this, but you always, like... FF, FF7 was an interesting game where the characters actually had relationships, you know? Uh, so... They are completely aware of that shit in, in the remake. Like, completely aware of that shit. So Jesse is super flirty in the new one. He's jacking me off a little bit. Just as a, uh, just as a welcome. Think you're helping me back there at the reactor? This is new. <laughs> this is new. Hey, babe, that's okay. I'm just doing my job. I still owe you. That's new. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, this is all new chat. My job. That's right. I'm... Regretting eating all that chili. It's causing... episodes. Multi-part episodes. Uh, you can actually see how deep and how far back this train car goes, which was not possible in the, uh, <laughs> in the PlayStation version. Even, even the current versions. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, a lot of shit is new. Like, this is... A lot of stuff is very new in this. Uh, which is what I wanted, like, when I, when I, I'm sorry if I'm not going fast. When I go back and I play a game that we haven't played in a long time, or a lot of people have memories of, my goal is to as much preserve the experience, but to also do something new. That's why an FF7 run back in 2015, I wanted to introduce a lot of the mods that people were making. Um, and it's the same thing with this, but with this shit, this is way different. Like, this is practically a different game. I don't remember that guy being over there on the left. Uh-oh. The sketchy, uh, they have their, their, their sketchy pose animations. That means they're up to no good. When people do this, they're up to no good, chat room. You see the headlines in the Shinra Times? The terrorists that bombed the reactor are operating out of somewhere down in the slums. Blowing up a reactor, they, they put, they sure put some thought into this one. They must have had a real calculating leader. 
I wonder what they'll do next. Huh, that's new. It's actually... It's actually new. I've got guests. Yeah, this is the weird homeless guy that lives in the train. This is my house, but feel free to make yourselves at home. You can talk to him a couple times, I think. Interesting. Stop acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up! I like Barrett. I like Barrett a lot. Biggs. We passed the security check this time. All of us have fake IDs. But by tomorrow, these IDs won't work. Uh, so Jesse has to make a fresh batch of new ones! In the ass. Avalanche is gonna be famous! And I guess I am too! Ooh. Probably not in the ways... Probably not in the... Sign my tits famous that you're expecting. Uh, Cronaldo! Do you want to look at this with me? It's a map of the Midgar rail system. Let's look at it together! I'll explain it! I... I don't... I'm really not into you. So here's an interesting thing. Uh, I think in the original... You can choose to look at this with her, but you can save it for Tifa? You can instead look at it with Tifa. Uh... I think. Because I, I went through a, a very brief run just checking out the mods before. And Tifa's like, hey, have you seen this before? And it says, oh, it looks like you already have seen this. So, I'm gonna say... I've seen it before. Oh, I see. Well, we're nearly back now, that's a relief. So we're gonna see if that dialogue tree happens with Tifa. And maybe... Maybe Tifa will check it out with her. Uh, Tifa is the true goal. Aerith is a good friend. Tifa is the true waifu. You gotta you understand, chat. They've known each other since they were kids, okay? Give me a break. Argue all you want, but I'll tell you what's going on. I'll, I'll explain to you that Tifa is the goal. Jesse Route denied. <laughs> Trash. That's a funny way of saying Yuffie. Ugh! Ugh! Annoying Materia Girl as being the waifu? Ugh! I'll ignore you said that, chat room. I need to walk over there. I'm gonna walk slowly. I have hold down B to walk, which is much better than hold down a button to run. Uh, thank you for the 222 brand new dudes, by the way, guys. That is an incredible amount of, uh, generosity on top of everything. I need to go back and read some of these messages once we get to 7th Heaven. Once we get Tifa in the party and I can show you guys what Tifa looks like. Uh, we'll check that out. Let me move this real quick. I'm a perfectionist on this stuff. There we go. Oh, by the way, uh, big shout out to Alpha17x, who provided the layout, who's one of my main layout artists, uh, for the stream. And he made this cool, this cool FF7 themed layout, which I'm a big fan of. So, thanks man. Don't get lazy! The hard part's still to come! Don't you be scared of that explosion! Because the next one's gotta be even bigger! Get back at the hideout. Move out to this. I think that's one thing that's kinda unique about Final Fantasy uh, 7, is that the characters are a bit... a bit old. Can I get into a fight over here and possibly kill myself? I haven't saved in a while. Um, the characters are a bit older in this game, compared to the other Final Fantasies that come after 7. Everyone's very young. What'd you, what'd you drop? <laughs> J J I, I look back, and I hear JJ moving a giant box, and I hear... Kathunk? Explosion! A, a, a light bulb fell on the ground and actually exploded. Um. <laughs> did, it, did, it, did it blow up in the hallway, honey? It exploded on the carpet, making it very difficult. Uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. What does this guy have to say? I've been a train man my whole life! Train man! I've seen a lot of people pass by and a lot of lives. People meeting, parting, joy, sadness. Man, this guy's getting into some existential shit, but after a while, it stops getting to you. Oh, that's it? Oh, no. Uh, he's got a Dark Souls dialogue tree. I wonder how long it's been. 
There's an invisible rail now, between me and the passengers. What the? Is this in the original? I could never... I can never live their lives. I'm just a trained man. Plain and simple. Is a fucking John Denver song? That's not to say I don't get involved now and then. Back during the war, I saw a lot of desperate scenes. But that's a story for another day. Wu-Tai Wars? First train leaves Midgar at 5.04 a.m. What the hell was that? Yeah, that has to be new. That's a nice addition. That's an interesting addition. I'm a train man. I'm not letting you go tonight. Wow. <laughs> wow. Isn't there something somewhere we could be alone? Wow. There's only the train graveyard around here, but they say it's haunted by ghosts. These people are gonna go fuck in the ghost train grave. Damn. What? I'm not letting you go tonight. Wow. 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 Ugh. I'm gonna get, um, yeast infection. Not good. I can finally save? Are you shitting me? Finally? Uh, thank you. Why are save points so haphazard? Like, they're all over the place. I mean, all over the place as in not in the places I need them to be. Wow. Okay, confirm to continue. Uh, this guy has some interesting dialogue that I hope is the same. Let's find out. Wah! Oops. Uh, I think this guy's literally taking a leak over here. What on earth are you doing? Just butt out, shit! Uh, you came to see it too. There was a bombing on top. If this pillar should come down, everyone in the slums is dust. Well, there's no point in worrying about it. Hey, check it out! It's huge, isn't it? My dick! And yeah, this is actually in the original. Peed on my shoes! He added value to them. This is a strange and wonderful place. This is my place, but you can come here whenever you want. <laughs> Motherfucker's marking his territory over here. See ya, bro! And he ran away. Cloud, get the fuck over here! <laughs> Barrett's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Where are you? Talking to P-Man. Wait, guards have some shit to say. What the hell do you want? You know who I am? You cannot pass. I got the miserable job of keeping scum like you from trying to sneak in. Wow, you're you're doing great. Damn right. I don't waste time talking. Is what I always say. But I. uh... The hell do you want? You know who I am? Oh, yeah, it's the same shit. I'm doing great. What, does this guy say something different? Uh, okay, excuse me, uh, you cannot pass without the proper clearance. Did I do good this time? You gotta be tougher! But I, uh... I like the characters in this game. I like them. You gotta be tougher! The fuck is Cloud? What is going on? That says Tejas at the top. Barrett shot that guy in the butt. Cool, dude, you can see all, like, the lights and the gears and everything now. What is this child saying? Explosions, explosions! Oh man, Avalanche is so cool! Whoa. Really? Did you hear? Uh, what? There's a news update! They said that there was a terrorist attack up above. And that this time, they got a Mako reactor. You know what's interesting that I'm kind of curious about? I wonder what other shit Avalanche has done, because they don't really... They don't really explain that a lot in the original. Like, people are, like, aware of Avalanche, but... you don't know to what degree. So maybe the original could sort of explore that stuff with, like, you know, other character dialogue. You can figure out what Barrett and Biggs and Wedge and Tifa have done... uh... in the past, to sort of give them the reputation. You know what it means? Uh... You know what? You see, I keep on top of these things, and if you ask me... You knock out Midgar's power, then all of its computers and signals are gonna get knocked out, too. Financially, there must have been a lot of damage done. And that ain't it all! A lot of innocent people will get killed, too! If the explosion had been in the middle of the night, that would have been one thing. At least the people could have gone in their sleep. Whoa! Holy shit! Um... 
That's the end of the conversation? Nope, the reactor explosion has really sent Midgar into a fit. That's probably the end of it. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Let's go in here. I'm not opening up, go away! Damn, is this a Bloodborne door? Is this the uh, citizens of Yarnum over here? Open the goddamn door! Excuse me. Okay, go on ahead. No, I'm gonna talk to these guys. Shit, what the hell's wrong tonight? Cloud, get it off your slow moving. I thought that long blackout was strange. They say a Mako reactor was destroyed above. I was just sitting here drinking, watching the news by myself, and all of a sudden I get kicked out of the fucking store. What's up with that? Uh, this is the guy that got shot in the ass by Barrett. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm blitzed. I just love them homemade cocktails, but they sure do creep up on you. I think this is mostly the same in the original. Mostly. We're closed today, come back tomorrow. Can I even go in here? Hold on a second. These guys are open. That guy is blowing shit up. So here's a cool thing that you probably don't realize uh, from the original. This is like a robot head down here. This is like a weird Shinra giant robot head. Uh, very odd. Child, talk to me. You dried up old geese, you tired. What is this, Twitch chat? Why don't you rest up on the third floor of my house? For a price, that is. I'll give you one fucking dollar. Damn, man, just forget about it. <laughs> I wasted one dollar. I wasted one dollar. 21 years old, and the kid called me an old geese. Alright, let's go see her, chat. Let's go see her. Yo, Cloud, get off your slow-moving ass! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm exploring the lore. Papa! Um... Excuse me. Mi padre. Tifa des. Marlene, aren't you gonna say anything to crowd, though? So I'm gonna say this. Tifa has very specific walking animations and, uh, world animations, right? And field animations, I think they're called. And I will say, her field animations translate very well with the Nino-style mod, which is what we're using. Welcome home, looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Barrett? Not this time. Hmm, you've grown up. When you were little, you used to get into fights at the drop of a hat. Hello, Tifa. I'm glad everyone's safe. Oh, I can move around. <laughs> uh, Wedge, you're getting all excited. Stop making such a mess. He's drinking that gigantic bottle of Mountain Dew. Yeah. Oh, Cloud. Tifa really knows how to cook. Mmm, mmm. Anyway, let me tell you something. About what? Tifa always lets me taste her cooking. And look at me now, I'm a roly-poly. I don't know whether I should be happy or sad, but it's the good food and drinks that make this shop famous. I, I think it's the, uh... What is it, chat, in the trailer? It's chips and fish? No. There's a sign that says something in chips in the new remake uh, trailer. What the fuck does it say? Eggs and chips. That's what it is. There's a neon sign in the remake trailer that says eggs and chips. Not normally a combination I'd be super appetized about. Nothing like the first drink after a job. Why don't you have one too? Uh, yeah, why not? Oh, that's more like it. Even if you were with Soldier, you're still a rookie here, so you better listen to whatever I tell you. He's, uh, possibly drunk. <laughs> uh, oh, don't tell Barrett what I just said. Oh, Cloud. Uh, I'm not interested in your stories. Ah, forget it then. Okay. All right. Exhausting the dialogue. All right, Cloud. Marlene seems a little shy. Uh, she is. Bam! Papa, welcome home. Biggs jumps into his arms. <laughs> then he throws Biggs away and grabs Marlene. You alright, Barrett? Get in here, fools! Uh, Mr. T is coming out. We're starting the meeting! We've had enough of your jibba-jabba. 
Here's the funny part, is that you can ignore... You can literally ignore Tifa right here, and then go downstairs, I'm pretty sure. And just, like, continue the dialogue. Or, you can have a drink with her. Talk with her, damn it! Sit down. Sit down! How about... Something to drink. Um... Give me something heard. Make one for you. Oh, that's cute. I never noticed that. She essentially, she puts it on the opposite end of the bar and then slides it down to you. I mean, it's it's heavily inferred and not really animated, but... Cute. You know, I'm relieved you made it back safely. What's with you all of a sudden? The job wasn't even tough. I guess not. You were in Soul Deer. Make sure you get your pay from Barrett. Man, Cloud is pounding that shit. Don't worry, once I get that money, I'm out of here. Jesus, you cold fuck. Cloud, are you feeling all right? Yeah, why? No reason, you look a little tired, I guess. I look tired. You better go down below. Cloud's too edgy, currently. He's too much of a fucking edgy, cool shithead. Oops, uh, look at the news, what a blast. I think it was all because of my bomb? But all I really did was just make it like the computer told me. Downloaded a game fact. Oh no, I must have made a miscalculation somewhere. I read the forums. Uh, bad idea, Jesse. Very bad idea. That was my f whoa. That was my first bomb, makes me kind of proud. Shit, and the news is like going crazy. Today the number one reactor was bombed. Terrorist group avalanche is- Oh, JJ's cleaning up the thing. Terrorist group avalanche has claimed responsibility for the bombing. It is expected that avalanche will continue its campaign of terror. But citizens of Midgard, there is no need to fear. I have mobilized soldiers to protect our citizenry against the senseless violence. Thank you and good night. Making sure we're exhausting the dialogue. You think I'm a little too uptight? Uh, yeah. The next mission will be to blow up the Sector 5 reactor. Cloud, you're great. Don't you ever get nervous. Or are you, like, impervious to feelings? Nah, that couldn't be it. No, you're not uptight. Well, that's okay. I don't look like it, but I'm a coward at heart. Ah, shit. That's a very weird thing. That happens, uh, here. Yo, Cloud, there's something I want to ask you. Was there anyone from Soldier fighting us today? Nah, no, I'm positive. You sound pretty sure. If there was anyone from Soldier, you would not be standing here right now. You would be dead. As in, not alive. Don't go thinking you're so bad just because you was in Soldier. So at one point, I actually don't mind Barrett's translation. Like, I think... I do think they try to, like, bolster his character way more than he had before, but... I don't know, I kind of like it. It's not perfect, of course. This is weird. So, currently, Barrett and Wedge... I'm sorry, Barrett and Biggs are, like, fighting with each other. And Biggs is still drunk, so he's trying to play around with Barrett. But Barrett's pissed because Cloud's an asshole. And he throws Biggs into... I want to see that in the remake. I want to see that in the remake. I want to see how they translate that in the remake. Uh, yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys in Soldier are. And don't forget that your skinny ass is working for Avalanche now! Get no ideas about hanging on to Shinra. Staying with Shinra. You asked me a question and I answered it, that's all. Look at him, look at the cloud to stand up and try to be tall. I'm going upstairs and I want to talk about my money. Shucks. Money. Shucks. Money. Papa, you're so great. Now wait, Curado. Tifa, let him go. It looks like he still misses the Shinra. 
Mrs. the Shinra. I am stuck right here. Shut up! <laughs> Cloud, okay, so I think that I think the reason that that pause happens there is because Cloud's like fuming, but they don't really animate it. So he's like fuming and they animate it. Uh but it takes him a while to say, shut up. Shut up! I don't care about Shinra. Oh, soldier, don't make fun of me. But don't, but don't get me wrong, I don't care about Avalanche of the Planet either! Or your stupid haircut! Hi, hi Tifa. Straighten things up with everyone, you're fucking embarrassing me. Wedge, I'm sorry. Cloud. You're saying you don't care, but you came to talk to me. Oh shit. Cloud. You just want friends. <laughs> you friendless whore. Isn't that right? Blow off! <laughs> Suck my dick, Wedge. Suck it. Yeah, well, you look kinda lonely to me. <laughs> if you ever got anything you want to get off your chest, you can always talk to me. Friends. Hey, Jesse. Money. Oh my, it must have been... for... It must have been for a lot of it. Sure, well, what the hell, it's a verbal agreement, now let me figure this out. Oh, stop it, Cloud, don't you hear me? Didn't you hear me? Uh, Jesse is going on about something. Can I talk to the body of Wedge? I mean, I'm sorry, of Biggs. I cannot. I am refused. Barrett is, uh, has got haste times four activated on that punching bag right now. I'm going upstairs. He's going in on that punching bag. We're getting out of here. Shit. Listen, Cloud, I'm asking you, please join us. I'm sorry, Tifa. Planet is dying, Bert. Slowly but surely, it's dying. Someone has to do something. So let Barrett and his buddies do something about it. I got nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with me. So you're really leaving. You're just gonna walk out, ignoring your childhood friend, you piece of shit. Um... How can- how can you say that? Forgot about the promise, too. Here's- here's the- here's the funny thing that... What people kind of misinterpret about Cloud, uh... In a post-Advent Children situation... Is that... Cloud isn't a mopey bastard, right? Um... He's- he's not. He's a mopey bastard after the events of Final Fantasy VII. Um... Cloud is not that, especially at the beginning of this game. Cloud's a piece of shit. That's what- he's not a mopey bastard, he's a piece of shit. And those- those are two very different emotional slash character states. He's not emo, he's a- he's a dickhead. But you did forget. Remember, Cloud, it was seven years ago. <laughs> I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> I am? <laughs> Look, the well. Do you remember? Oh, the assembly. Right here. Thank you. Um... <laughs> let's talk about it, let's not. I'm pretty sure this is new. Um, yeah, let's- let's dig into this shit. Yes, back then. I thought you would never come, and I was getting a little cold. New threat lets you skip flashbacks? Really? Well, I don't want to skip this shit. I like this shit. I'm sorry, I'm late. Cloud looking extra thick and extra ridic. His cargo pants must be a pair of Jinkos, considering the times. You said you wanted to talk to me about something. Uh, come this spring, I'm leaving town. Going to Midgar. Seems that all the boys are leaving Nibelheim. But I'm different from them. I'm not just gonna find a job. I'm gonna become a soldier. <laughs> I'm doing this shit. I'm gonna be the best there is, just like Sephiroth. The uh, devs told me that's the actual proper pronunciation. Sephiroth. Sephiroth. The, oh, I'm sorry, Sephiroth. The great Sephiroth. They told me personally. Isn't it hard to join soldier? 
I probably won't be able to come back home for a while. Huh? <laughs> eh? If you make it, will you be in the newspapers? Shit, Chad, you really know what, what time of... how uh, This game is showing its age pretty hard. Newspapers. Will I be able to read about you on my iPod? I'll try. Let's make a promise. If you ever get super famous, and I'm ever in a bind, will you shilly-dally dilly-dally? You'll come save me, right? Eh? When someone is in trouble, sometimes their hero rescues them. I want to experience that at least once. What Tifa doesn't realize is that she's ultimate punch woman, and usually doesn't need help. And what I... what I usually... In retrospect, I don't think Cloud comes to Tifa's rescue until, like, the end of the game. So... Like, maybe the very end of the game? Like... I don't think this actually happens. It's interesting. I'm trying to think of another moment where Tifa's actually, like, damsel in distress, and Cloud comes and saves her. But where does that happen? She saves him, yeah. Tifa saves his ass. Nurtures his catatonic ass. Uh... When does Cloud rescue her? The flashback, but hasn't that happened already? No, that's right. That is true. Uh, cause Cowgirl Tifa is... After Cloud... Spoilers, after Cloud comes back. So, very true, very true. It's pretty much in the flashback is when it happens. Got you. The mansion. You're right. I want to experience that at least once. What? Cloud's very smart. Come on, promise me. Alright, I promise. Shit. Okay, the promise is made. At last. The reunion is at hand. Whatever it brings. But you remember now, don't you? Our promise? I'm not a hero, and I'm not famous, so I can't keep our promise. But you got your childhood dream. You joined Soldier! I sure did, and I am super fucking cool. So come on, you have to keep your promise. And Barrett is scaling it like it's Mount Everest. Wait a second, big time soldier. Uh, promise is a promise here. Speaking of promises, throws him as shit. 1500 gil. It's gonna buy me maybe a fire materia. Don't make me laugh. Uh, what? Then you'll... You got the next mission lined up? I'll do it for 3,000 space bucks. 3,000 space bucks? That's absurd. It's okay, it's okay. We're really hurting for the help, right? I have money's for Marlene schooling. She needs to learn Espanol. 2,000. Thanks, Cloud. It's funny, Cloud never responds to that. Like, Tifa just goes, you're taking 2,000. Thanks, Cloud. Deal with it. Fuck her education. <laughs> this is going to be a walkthrough chat room. You understand what that means? It's going to be a full walkthrough. I'm holding down the B button. Something is etched into the punching bag. Uh, and I can't tell what it is specifically, but it's probably a Shinra something, you know? Probably some Shinra shits. I didn't realize there was like a printer thing right here. That's cool, like, so there's like, this is like a, a whiteboard that they plan out the mission, and then it prints out on a piece of paper. You would never see that shit. You would literally never see that shit if it wasn't for this mod, for Rimako. It's a Shinra soldier stick, man? You're kind of right. Yeah, it's like a guy with a helmet. Uh. Alright, we're going upstairs. There's like cigarettes here. Good morning, Crowdo. Did you sleep well? So here's the interesting dialogue choices that you get with Cloud, right? 
You could say that Barrett snoring kept you up. Or, this is in the original, okay? This is in the original game. Cloud can respond with, next to you, who wouldn't? And of course, the chat is in control tonight. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> uh, I like how Tifa is just completely like, the fuck are you talking about? The fuck are you talking about? I'm going this time. What? I'm going this time. Our target is the Sector 5 reactor. Uh, head for the station first. I'll fill you in on this train. Uh, yo, Cloud. Before the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. I, uh, I really don't know how to use materia. I'll give you that materia we found. Just teach me how to use it. So, uh, chat, this is the same thing, right? Like, unless New Threat has introduced some new materia mechanics that I'm, I'm unaware how they work, as Marlene is mixing, uh, martinis, is... Is there anything I should be doing this? Because we could just skip this. This tutorial goes on for a while. It's the same thing. All right. We understand how materia works. We're gonna skip it. You wouldn't understand. <gasps> See, this is what makes them guys the soldiers so great, you motherfuckers! All right, I'll ask Jesse later. But you're in charge of the materia! Uh, access the materia menu and equip your materia. Sense. What the fuck? Uh, usually you get sense in the play yard? In the, uh, the damaged play yard? Huh. Cloud, I got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. The beginner's hall was renovated from... for the new threat mod. Okay. Uh, don't forget to visit. Okay. Marlene! You watch the store bubble gone, goddammit! Alright, good luck. <laughs> Chatroom, this child is potentially six years old. Uh, and she can mix faster than your mother. <laughs> okay. Tifa's innate ability. Once per battle, when Tifa is KO'd, she'll auto-revive with one HP retaining statuses, limit gauge, and quenched actions? What the hell? Is she a dredge card? I learned that from the chat last week. Is Tifa a dredge player? Uh, I'm kind of confused by that. What the fuck does that mean? So, when she... She... What? Uh... So she gets... Quenched? What are you saying quenched? What did I miss? Uh... <laughs> did I say quenched? <laughs> I like Quench better. She does make drinks. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Tifa is quenched. <laughs> I think Quench is much better. I hope that's in the remake. Let's hope that, that makes it in the remake. <laughs> uh, and then you stick some sense material on and bear it. And you be the tank and heal the shit out of us, please. Thank you. <laughs> She'll do a move she lined up before death. Oh, okay, so... Oh, okay, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, the funny thing is that New Threat installed this, or not installed, but sort of integrated this stuff way before the remake, right? But the remake kind of has this stuff. Like, the the remake has unique character abilities, where Barrett has a unique battle, battle stuff that he does, Cloud has unique battle stuff that he does, and Tifa most likely is going to because we haven't seen her in battle. Um, so that's interesting that Maybe they took inspiration from some mods for the new game. They are paying attention, that's for sure. Oh, I have a mithril armlet to equip. Uh, I guess I should put that on Tifa because this is worse? Can I switch menus? There we go. Um, this is worse. What the fuck? Magic plus 10? That's true. That is true. Um, I forgot to look at that, that side of the menu. Uh, magic plus 10, but defense goes down a shit ton. However, that would be good on Barrett, because he gets defense boost. Um, um, 
Okay. No, it's not bugged. I was just- I forgot about where- I was looking for what button, like, gives you more stuff on the... ...like, equipment screen, and it's right there. It's above. I have... That was very loud. Alright. Um... Let's take some shit off Cloud. Stick it on Barrett. Okay. Um, Barrett's gonna be in the back until Aerith joins the party, so... We're beating the game tonight? No, we have nine months to beat- uh, eight months to beat the game. So we're going to... You get a lot of new materia before you didn't get early game? Well, we already have sense, which is interesting. Um... Interesting. What was Tifa's materia? I put, uh... What the fuck? She came with stuff. Let's just take enemy lure off. Wow. Um... I'm wondering if I should actually put the magic shit on Tifa. And Barret gets cover. Here, here, okay, I'm changing things, chat. Sorry. Changing things. Uh, Barret's gonna have the defense, but. But Tifa, I'm sticking uh, this stuff over here. Yeah, I'm putting cover on Barret, so I'll... let's equip Tifa with the Mithril armlet. Ah, oh, goddammit. Touchy menu. Um. High level strats. Uh, Tifa's always your magic slash summon user. I always like to make her punch girl, but it's a little tough. Uh, so, let's actually make Barret be our cover guy. Uh, man, you would never know that you had enemy lure on and just... It's mastered too, so you just get a shit ton of enemies that you run into. Good thing we took that off. Uh, and sense. So, I should probably be doing this different. Okay, cool. Um, give me a sec, chat room. I'm gonna go use the restroom really quick. We're gonna continue this. I'm gonna- I need to give some shoutouts, because people have been ridiculously supportive of the stream tonight, and I am extremely gracious, because this is my favorite game of all time, and we're playing it in a different way that I've never done before. Is Aerith gonna have nothing? She'll be fine! We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, I'll BRB, guys. Don't go anywhere, and more FF7 Remake right after this.